Jeff Brown had a very interesting playoff. Of course, uh, his fiance Lana gave birth to their uh, child Jenna on May 25th, three days before Game One of the final series. Boy, and did Jeff Brown have a series, didn't he? Certainly did against the New York Rangers, and that was one of the reasons why Pat Quinn picked him up. Was that great shot from the point, and you just saw it there. They call him Mr. Slapshot. This is truly unbelievable. It's a great opportunity for us to, to finally thank you guys. You guys are the best fans in the, in the league and in the world. And uh, I'll tell you, we couldn't have done it without you. The last couple months have been an unbelievable ride for me, and I can't wait for the spring of 95 till we're here again with the, with the cup sitting over there. I love you guys. Thank you. Sounds like the feeling is mutual, Steve. Well, every one of these players uh, is optimistic about the future, of course. Uh, with this kind of reception they're getting today, why not? I mean, wouldn't you like to repeat this uh, 12 months from now? I think they'd like to repeat this over the Stanley Cup there instead of that one. Well, that represents the Western Conference champions. That's the Clarence Campbell Bowl, and next to it, the sign of Griffith's Way that will be the name of the street opposite the GM place, the new home of the Vancouver Canucks. And the fans now being introduced to number 21, Yerky Lume. Yerky Lume played some of his best hockey as a Vancouver Canucks in the Stanley Cup playoffs, 93-94. Well, this is, uh, it's overwhelming. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. It's great to see you, all, all people here, and uh, thanks for the support. It's, uh, it's just unbelievable. This is the best city in the world. It's, uh, you people are the best. Uh, love you all. Thanks a lot. And he's come a long way in terms of being able to speak English since I first interviewed him uh, when he was a Montreal Canadian. He's from Finland. He's really picked up on the language, expresses himself well. This time last year, Joe Charbonneau was trying to make the Vancouver voodoo of Maybe the International we Roller Hockey League. Sure and the chance to come back in Vancouver was going to be one of the most unbelievable experiences you could have. You guys approve it. You, you ride the wave with us until the end. It was an awesome thing. Thank you very much. I don't think Joe Charbonneau will be playing roller hockey this season. <laughs> Now next up on the roster here is a, a player who uh, Vancouver fans didn't think of very fondly when he was a Calgary Flame, but uh, now he is a Vancouver Canuck, and uh, the feelings are somewhat different. He's one of those players that you hate to play against, but you love to play with because he is an aggressive player, he's an intimidator. And he certainly got under the skin of the Toronto Maple Leafs. We're talking about number 19, Tim Hunter. And listen to that ovation. Hunter, one of those players who plays with his heart. I'd like to ask you all to do one more thing, and that's have that chant. We want the cup. One more time. Let's hear you. Because you deserve it. You're the greatest fans. Thank you very much. I don't know if you're at home. Uh, well, you can't feel it, but the uh, rafters were shaking here at uh, BC Place. I know the stands were, and the bubble seemed to be shifting a bit, Steve. And Tim Hunter could come back as a cheerleader uh, <laughs> if he ever decides to hang up the skates. It's hard to pick up what's happening on the stage now because of the noise, but uh, Tom Larshad introducing number 18, Sean Antosky. He talked about Tim Hunter being aggressive and a bit of an intimidator. This man can too. But unlike Tim Hunter, this guy's got a lot of speed. He can really fly. And many years ahead of him. I'd just like to say a few things um, on behalf of the team. I gotta say that the fans in this city 
or A1, I want you to give yourselves a hand. That's what I want you to do right now. I want you to clap for yourselves. It took me three years to get here, and I'll tell you one thing, it was well worth it. Got a class act as far as an organization, coaches, teammates, owners. Can't say anymore. It's been fun. You say one thing right now, we'll be back. He looks like he means it. He is the future of the Vancouver Canucks along with uh, a number of other players, but he certainly uh, will play a big part in their future plans. You're watching the 1993-94 Canuck Fan Appreciation Day live from BC Place in Vancouver. And all sorts of uh, ages and faces here today, most of them quite young. I think that many of the schools in the Lower Mainland are uh, high absenteeism uh, rate today. Jimmy Carson has just been introduced to the crowd. I'd like to thank all the fans for your great support. It was quite a ride. We wouldn't have been here without you guys. Thanks a lot. Jimmy Carson picked up from the Los Angeles Kings late in the year and uh, didn't produce the way the Canucks hoped and uh, probably won't be back in a Vancouver Canuck uniform next year. Didn't dress during the series. John McIntyre is being introduced right now. Recipient of the Ram Tough Award. And he was voted the Canucks unsung hero for this past season. A great face-off guy, a great four-checker. Thank you. Uh, as you all know, I started this uh, training camp season as part of the Ranger organization. And Pat Quinn did me a huge favor by getting me out of that city and allowing me to play for a great organization in the most beautiful city around in front of the greatest fans you can ever wish for. I just thank you all for your, your support, and, uh, and I really appreciate it. Thanks again. John McIntyre. I guess it was Sergio Momesso who was saying that he feels uh, more nervous being on the stage today than being on the ice. Hard we, to believe. We haven't seen too many signs of that nervousness. Uh, every one of the Canucks has come up uh, and expressed themselves, uh, I think, rather well. They look very relaxed. They look like they are genuinely enjoying themselves. Introducing Jeff Cortnell now, number 14. Listen to the reception he's going to get. Oh, I think this reception is right up there on the fan meter. And what a moment this must be for Jeff Cortnell. Played his junior hockey in Victoria with his brother Russ. When you uh, get to grow up in this province and get an opportunity to play for such a great organization, such a great family in the most beautiful city in the world, with 25 of the greatest guys and the best fans in the world, this is probably the greatest feeling anybody could have. And to be here today and see you fans, you're awesome and we thank you very much for it. And he'll be doing a little celebrating in his restaurant right across the street from BC Play Stadium, I'm sure. And there's a great restaurant across the street, too. <laughs> right on cue, Jeff. You know, Jeff, Jeff won the All right. Well, many fans uh, are here sporting Pavel Bure number 10 shirts, and uh, Pavel Bure is uh, next up. And what a season this guy has had. The news this morning, in case you haven't heard, is that the Canucks have announced uh, they've signed Pavel Bure to a six-year contract, retroactive to this year. So Pavel Bure will be in Vancouver for the next five years. Many years to come. Only the third.